Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to paint this leaf with watercolor. Before we get started, I just wanted to show you very quickly that I, right now, I have two sets of watercolor paints. This one I got from Target. It was only, I think it was less than a buck. And then this one I got from um, the Blick Art Store and it's a Winsor Newton um, 12 piece set and this one was about $30 so really if you don't want to splurge and get the $30 one maybe you're learning you know how to watercolor for the first time and you don't want to spend the money on it you can always just get this for a book and try it out and see how you like it and I'm actually going to be painting with this one first I'm gonna paint um, this leaf with these paints and then later on I will uh, on a separate video I'm going to paint this leaf with my other set and we can look and see if there is really um, a difference so another thing I wanted to mention is water um, I have two cups of water here one um, they're both just regular tap water um, but what I'm what I'm going to do with these is one I'm going to use to rinse out my brush every time I need to switch colors and then the other one I'm using and I'm going to keep clean I'm not going to clean my brushes with this um, if I ever need to get clean water I'm going to get the water from here that way um, you're not getting dirty water from here and muddying up your painting so what we want to do is we want to get the general shape of this leaf down on this paper and normally I just look at the leaf and I would draw it on this paper just because then I can get if I for some reason I want a bigger size of it or a smaller size I can draw it to the exact size I want but if you don't want to try to figure that out it's very easy you could just trace it you don't have to force yourself to try to draw it out and that's what I'm actually going to do today. I'm just going to trace it so you can see. All you want to do is very lightly just follow the lines here. And you don't want to draw um, dark lines because we're going to be painting this and we don't want the lines to be visible. And I am going to also include the stem here. So typically what I do when I watercolor paint is I first paint the general background colors of this, um, of the object. Um, I'll try to figure out what colors I'm going to be using. Like I see yellows, greens, browns. Once as this dries, I will go back and get all these little details like these veins here, some of these spots. And so I'm going to go ahead and just get a little of that water and just add a couple drops to the colors I think I'm going to be using. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by adding a little water, just clean water, to the section I'm going to start with. And I'll, I'll start from this bottom part and work all the way around. And so what I want to do is just add water to that section first. And this is just regular clean tap water right now. And so I added a little water right here to this section. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding some colors. I'm going to start off with a little of this yellow. And I'm just going to start touching the paper and letting some of this, this color disperse. And I noticed that this is a very dark yellow here. I almost want to get some of this orange. So I'm going to take my clean water and just also add just a few drops of that to my orange. And 
once I'm done with this yellow here, I do want to get a little more in here. I will rinse my brush. And the reason why I'm rinsing this one more often is because I don't want to be mixing the colors. I want to keep them true. If you're using yellow and then you decide to grab the blue um, directly, you will get some of that yellow paint into your blue and then it will turn into green and then you're going to have to clean your paints to get rid of um, some of that color. So this is a lot brighter here and it may be a little too bright but you also re want to remember when this dries when this dries it should be a little bit lighter than how it, it's appearing right now now I'm going to rinse my brush and just grab just a tiny bit of that green too because I'm seeing some green here and I want to just add a few spots of green here and there. So what I'll do next is I'll just move on to the next section and I'll do the same thing. I will get this section of the leaf wet. And that just allows the paints to bleed into each other very easily. And I'll start doing the same thing here. I'm just going to add these yellows in. And I actually need to get a little more water in this yellow here. And I'll rinse off and I'll just start grabbing some of that orange too, getting it right in there. Grab a little, rinse my brush off and just let some of that water mix the yellow and the orange. And as you see, there is a little buckling and um, or wrinkling in this paper. This is this is mixed media paper. There is also specific watercolor paper, and I actually kind of like that more. I was kind of testing this out. So as you can see, um, the other watercolor paper does get wavy too, but you can kind of flatten it just by setting a heavy book on it for a few days. So I'm going to rinse my brush and come back and get a little more of that green and just add in those green areas. And this isn't really the true green color I want. I want it to be a little lighter. So what I'm going to do is I can even rinse my brush, grab a little yellow, and then just work that back in there to get that a little bit lighter. So I'm going to just keep working on each section here and this has a lot of brown in it. So I'm just adding that clean water again. So let's get some of that brown. And as you see as I'm touching it automatically just starts bleeding and spreading. Just touching a little bit of brown on the edges here.
Now I'm going to kind of paint in the stem. I'm going to use mainly a little yellow. and some brown. And what I'm going to do with the brown is I'm going to try to outline kind of towards the outside of it on one side. So now I wanna come back with, and get some of these brown spots here. And so I wanna add a little clean water first to my brown, just a little drop of that, and get a little of that brown. And let's just come in and kind of get that line in the middle. And there's some brown spots. It's really an organic looking line with many spots in it. Just continue doing this all along the edges and through the middle, everywhere that you see the brown spots. Just kind of give it some of that detail in here. And you can also go back in and make some of these areas a little bit darker. And maybe a little more yellow where I see the veins. And then I'm going to take my paper towel and you might, if you don't have a nail, my, I just cut my nails, of course. Um, if you can also get a toothpick, but you just want to run your nail or like maybe a toothpick with, with the paper towel on it and just kind of run right up the middle of that and kind of create a little vein there. And then you can also do that on the sides. Just adding a little more brown right to the middle here and a little on the side where I see some of these veins and maybe a little more yellow too. Pretty much where you're getting it wet, you will create a vein there. And you don't want to keep it perfectly straight. You want to kind of just wiggle your finger just a little bit. So a little time has passed and um, this painting is mostly dry. It's still got a few little wet spots, but I think I can finish this up. And what I'm doing is I added just a little bit of water to the brown and I'm going to come back and really try to get some of these little small details. And you might need to get a pretty small brush to do this. But basically I'm going to try to get some of those darker lines that I see.
And that's it. Um, I've spilled a little water uh, paint here. I'm going to get my, my clean water. Just apply a little water there and rub it. With my paper towel and that kind of gets the paint off. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.